Hi, I'm Alice. I work as a project manager for Talent Team. Uh, I've been doing this job for a little while now and I've uh, come across some tips and tricks on my journey that I want to share with you and hopefully they can help you in your projects. Now, today's video is about um, how to prepare for a workshop. So workshops normally is the beginning of a project where you get around the table uh, and, and you work out in theory what it is you want the system to do. What are the options? What are you going to design? What kind of workflows and processes can you put in place? Um, and there are ways to run these workshops uh, more efficiently. And here are three tips to, to make that happen. Tip number one uh, is to define your requirements. There is nothing harder for a consultant who is indeed the expert on of the system itself and the functionalities. But if we don't understand or it's not clear exactly what you need the system to do for you, it, it, it's sort of like shooting yourself in the foot from the very start. Um, so it's really important that even before you come to these kinds of design workshops, that you have gone around and really established what it is that you require the system to do in detail, as much as you can. Of course, you don't know the system, so you can't put it into system language and that's fine. But, you know, if you have approval processes, you need to be able to define, you know, first it's the manager approving, then it's the second manager and then, you know, HR need to approve. So you have an idea as much as you can and document it if you can for us to kind of work with once we get through the workshops. The more you bring with you, the better, the more detailed requirements, the better, the best chance um, of having a system by the end of it, which is going to be what you need it to be for everybody involved. Now, tip number two, this is an important one, especially when it comes to cloud systems. So, you know, your SaaS systems. Tip number two, come in with an open mind for change. Because look, you might have come from a reality where you've been doing maybe manual processes, maybe using Excel, maybe even paper um, to, to cater for your processes. Uh, you might have had an in-house built little tool that did something really specific for you. Uh, but maybe not everything. But now you're going to a cloud-based system and it will never exactly copy what you did. So when you come into a workshop, just come with a bit of an open mind and an open mind to change because SaaS products will always challenge what you've had before. It will always ask you to rethink things uh, and ask you to do things differently. So change, be open to the fact that it will change how you do things today. It is an absolute fact. Okay, tip number three, uh, bring the right people, of course. So if you watch my previous videos, you know I'm talking about building a team and that you need to cover all the areas and functions to get the input for what is needed of this new system. Very much the same here when you're coming to workshops. Make sure you have the right people, but not too many. Now, there is a very magical balance between having enough people in the room with enough knowledge to make the right decisions, to have the correct needed input into the design. But equally, if you have a room full of 40 people, that can get really chaotic and we lose the structure of a good workshop and everything just gets to be either discussions veer off or everything's put into a backlog, you know, to come back to later, which obviously from a workshop, perspective isn't really ideal because we do need things to be decided so that we can go away and start building that first version of your system. Doesn't mean it's not going to change uh, during the iterations, during the build phases, obviously things are going to be changed once you see it and you hands on with it. But at least in the workshop, it's important that we have enough representatives from the various areas so we get the right input, but not so many people that becomes chaos. So find the right representatives to, to bring, find that balance. I would say about 10 to 15 people max and the sponsor, who is very important. So that's my uh, tip number three for a good workshop. Thank you for listening. I'll see you next time.